Hey guys, this is Nader from the Mideast. I have a message for you guys. I have a nice message for you. Here's uh, what's going on. You know, like every year, some people are gonna take advantage of the holidays. And they're gonna get you all excited. And they're gonna talk about things that doesn't exist. And they're gonna tell you tomorrow. And they're gonna tell you the day later. And they're gonna tell you, you know, it's gonna happen in Thanksgiving. Over in Iraq, we don't know Thanksgiving. We don't, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so we don't know what it is. I mean, I know what it is because I know. But in Iraq, people doesn't like celebrate Thanksgiving. So, you know, it comes Thanksgiving, they go like, yeah, the day before or after on Thanksgiving, they're gonna their rate is gonna change, and then you know it comes Christmas, and then it comes a New Year's Eve, and then it comes Easter. I mean, you gonna guys, you know, each time they gonna take advantage they just take an advantage of the holiday and get people excited and uh, just make fun you know like this guy that I'm gonna say his name I don't care okay uh, I even forgot his name but he's putting on uh, some people have been sending me some like texts the reading on the, on this guy with a hat you know this page with the guy with a hat and uh, Every weekend I see him, oh, this weekend we should walk to the bank. Uh, it would be Sunday. I mean, Saturday. The latest would be Sunday. And I don't know where he comes with this all this information. Or, he doesn't even say why we're going to the bank. He's, he doesn't say, he doesn't give any clue. Like, just, we're going to the bank. This weekend we're going to the bank. Why, we don't know. So that's all I'm going to say. I mean, be careful this, you know, holidays. The money you're gonna spend the bullshit, guys. Spend it on your family, spend it on your you know, goods. And that's it. Otherwise, it's not other news for now. You know, we're waiting. Listen, we're gonna wait. They said the rent, I mean, not, it's not a government who said that. Nothing. It's people from YouTube. They keep saying the exchange rate, it's in the budget. All right? Me, I said that I don't think it's in the budget because the budget have nothing to do with the, with the rate. No, have nothing to do with the rate. So, let's see what's going on. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I, you know, I, I hope I'm wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong. Don't be surprised if it's the, 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 the rate. The rate, the exchange rate, is not in the budget. It's, like I told you, remember in March I did a video. I said from here to July, if they will pass the 2022 budget, after July they will not pass it. Because that's exactly what happened. Now... If they don't pass the budget from here to December, it's gonna take them two or three months to try again, and maybe they will not pass it again. So let's see what's coming. I'm sure it's, I'm 99% I'm they're gonna pass the budget before 2023. They're gonna pass it. I mean, the budget of 2023, of course. So that's what's going on. Later from the East, and I see you later, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a good night, okay?